Hey everybody, this is Andrew, Lucid Dream Infinity here. One topic that I've been meaning to make a video about now for some time is using lucid dreaming to solve crime. Um, this is going to be kind of a short video because it's pretty simple. When you're in a lucid dream, your mind is in a purely mental dimension. And what that means is that if you can learn how to focus your mind on achieving a particular objective, it's going to be very effective and very efficient to find the solutions the, and to achieve the goals that you want. Uh, one example, one pretty well known example of this was how Timothy Ferris used lucid dreaming to train for a wrestling match several years ago. You can Google that and read about it. Um, and I think that one potentially very useful application of lucid dreaming would be using it to solve unsolved criminal cases. Um, a detective or a special agent working on a case that achieves a certain level of fluency in lucid dreaming could definitely use it to discover connections between clues of a case that they're working on that might be much more difficult to see a connection with in waking life. And this is because in a lucid dream, the mind operates at a much higher frequency. Um, you're able to draw connections between phenomenon much more quickly at a much higher level, at an accelerated rate. So if you went into a lucid dream with the intention of discovering a clue or discovering a new lead for an unsolved criminal case, I think that that would definitely be worth a shot because the mind is much more flexible. If you can train it correctly, it's much clearer in the dream state than in the waking state. Because again, it's a purely mental realm. It's a purely mental dimension. So um, this is food for thought, but I also think that, you know, if you are a law enforcement agency or if you're working a criminal case and you've stumbled upon a dead end, consider you know, developing a lucid dream practice on your own and using that to, in the lucid dream to sort of recall what the clues are from the case while you're in the lucid dream. Uh, kind of remember the photographs, the crime scene, uh, the victim, what happened, bring all of that to mind in the lucid dream and then ask, say out loud in the dream, I want to find the person responsible for this. Show me a clue that I missed. Show me something that I haven't seen. What am I overlooking? Say all of that out loud in the lucid dream. And I think that that might be an effective way to um, perhaps find a new lead or to gain a new insight into resolving uh, whatever the case is that you're working on. And yeah, I, I would say consider developing a lucid dreaming practice for that. Uh, consider, you know, if, if it works over time and, you know, there's enough of a consensus among the law enforcement community, you know, consider developing a training program and teaching detectives and special agents how to be lucid dreamers. And then um, that'll be, a, you know, I think a very effective tool 
um, for them to draw on when they need to gain an insight into catching a criminal and perhaps discovering something that they have overlooked. So uh, that's it for this video. I just wanted to, you know, put that out there because I think that doing something like that will have tremendous value for law enforcement. Okay, see you next time.